Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. If you want to skip the intro, there will be a timestamp below. Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages here on YouTube are general, meaning they're not going to resonate every time. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. I like to say if you can feel it, then it's most likely your message. So if it hits you, okay? If the message does resonate, there is a link below in the description box for the extended version. That's how you get entered into the drawing that we do here every month for free personal readings. There's also information below for the ritual kits that I offer for personal readings, the decks that I use, the tarot course offered, it's all linked below. And if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's jump right in. Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Gemini's monthly guidance message for the month of December. In this message, we're going to tap right into the energies with a traditional deck and we're going to look into the energy surrounding you this month. What's working in your favor? where you need to focus your energy, what's hidden, and where this is all headed. I'll clarify throughout the message as well as pull a few cards at the end for advice guidance moving forward. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So Gemini, let's see what we can see for you guys for the upcoming month of December. Most important message here for Gemini spirit. What does Gemini need to see. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords energy. Let's get two more cards out here for you, Gemini, and see. There's definitely something that's ending. I feel like this is almost seeming like it's a betrayal. Gemini, 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 the energy surrounding you this month is very heavy energy. I feel here there's something that I feel like you knew the situation was coming to an end. You knew the situation you had to release, but maybe a reluctance to release that. I feel here that in the month of December, something is going to happen. Something's going to be revealed that's going to be that final nail in the coffin. Ten of Swords energy. This is something that you've been anticipating, Gemini. Something that you, I feel here, intuitively knew was going to happen. It's almost as if you were just waiting to see, okay? And I feel that this is going to be a reminder of past energy. There's something here from the past that still needs healed, still needs revealed, still needs released, okay? There's something that you're holding on to from the past, Gemini. Now, I don't feel like this is a past situation ending. I feel like this is something, a current, how I'm seeing this play out is maybe a new friendship or a new relationship that you had your heart set on, but this person turned out to be a lot like the past, okay? And we're going to clarify all of this here in a moment. Let's take a look at what's working here in your favor, Gemini. I feel like there has been something that you've been working on, goal, career related, that's having you feel very uplifted. I also feel here in the month of December, there is going to be a lot of abundant things happening for you. This, you're going to start seeing your business venture move forward. You're going to start seeing opportunities open up in a career. It's going to give you a sense of stability in your financial sector. Okay. You're going to be feeling very lighthearted in that aspect. What's ending here, Gemini, I feel like this is a relationship. Now, I'm going to clarify all of this. We're going to put that deck to the side here before we move on. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords, Five of Cups, 
nine of swords energy for Gemini. Please and thank you, spirit. Mm -hmm. That was the knight of cups. Let's see if that comes back out. I feel like this was a connection, a relationship, and even though, Gemini, you had your heart set on this connection, something was telling you that this wasn't going to work. Ten of Cups, Five of Cups, Nine of Swords energy. Mm -hmm. I do feel like you needed this to happen, and I know that sounds terrible, but Gemini, you needed this ending to take place for you to be shot forward to where you're headed. This person was a distraction. They were put on your path to, to help you to heal that past hurt. That's all. They weren't meant to be there forever. Okay. Focus your attention. We're going to see in a minute where to focus your energy. But first, let's clarify the Six of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. What I feel here, Gemini, is this ending is going to excel you forward. You're going to be accelerated forward to a new beginning, new opportunity in career work. Your business is going to take off. It's going to release a lot of your time, attention, and focus from that connection. Now let's tap into the energy here, Gemini, to see where to focus. Where does Gemini need to focus their time and attention here in the month of December, Spirit? Please and thank you. Gemini, try to have an understanding that this past situationship, it had to end, okay? It had to come to a conclusion in order for whatever is being put on your path next to come forward. Try not to let this ending block your vision. And for some of you, that may be difficult. What I feel, Gemini, is maybe you have an idea in your mind that a relationship you're not meant to be in a relationship or certain relationships are never going to work out in your favor and i feel here that that's just not the case you're on the precipice of something new you're on the be the verge of a new beginning okay this new beginning is going to be coming into your life very soon okay this may be having to deal with an air sign gemini libra aquarius and this is somebody who you've dealt with in the past. Gemini, you would not have been open to this past person coming in if this situationship would not have closed out. Okay. Now let's tap into what's hidden here, Gemini, for you guys for the month of December. I do feel like there is a need to just let that tower fall. Okay. Focus on the healing process. I know it's not going to be easy because I do feel like you you had your heart set on that person. What's hidden here for Gemini? Please and thank you, Spirit. If somebody from your past that has been trying to make an entrance and I feel like they are getting ready to just push right forward. They're getting ready to take action towards you. Are you going to be ready for this? Gemini, it's an opportunity of a lifetime, and I do feel like this is going to be very heavy for you, okay? It's going to bring up a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear, a lot of discomfort, okay? A lot of you, this past person may have been a friend, and maybe you didn't want to ruin a friendship if things didn't work, but I feel here by taking a risk, you might be pleasantly surprised, okay? It's time to let your guard down. It's time to open up to this person, okay? I do feel like this tower energy, this ending that's happening here, Gemini, I feel like it's changing your perspective on relationships or on the people that you entertain in relationships, to be honest with you. This is all about a specific ending, and I do feel like this correlates with the full moon eclipse energy, guys, because 
there was an eclipse that just took place on the 19th that was meant to reveal things that were hidden. A lot of you may have experienced the reveal, something was revealed. For instance, maybe you found out this person was cheating on you. Uh, maybe you showed up at this person's house and they had another person over there. Um, maybe you heard about something or seen something on social media that you had the understanding that this person, they were telling you one thing and doing another. I do believe, Gemini, this person that you're ending this situationship with, they were only meant to be in your life for a season. This isn't a person who was meant to be there forever. So let's see, Gemini, where this is all headed in this energy, please and thank you. The secrets are being revealed. I feel like there is an air sign that is planning on coming forward, coming towards you in the month of December. It's Knight of Swords energy. Now this could be a battle, but I feel like this is a person that's moving in swiftly. I feel like this person has been planning. They've been being strategic about this Gemini, about this move towards you. This may even have been something that you guys have discussed. I feel here... Whatever situation is ending here, don't allow this to close you off even more, okay? This person, they had ill intention from the start. And a lot of times when manipulators come in, they can sense when a person is more vulnerable. And maybe, Gemini, at that point in time, you when you met this person, you were at a more vulnerable state, okay? Don't allow this ending to close you off, okay? Because I feel here that there is, that's a possibility, that's a possibility here for sure. Instead, try to change your perspective on what can you learn from this situation. What can you learn so you don't go through this again? And maybe it has to do with ignoring warning signs, ignoring red flags. Okay. Now, if you find this message is helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel and getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all amazing. I am going to do an extended version to the reading. In the extended version, we're going to look into the hidden energy is a little bit deeper. We're going to see what the next move is here and the outcome if the advice is followed. It's all going down in the extended version and the links are all below. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. So what I see here, Gemini, is things are going to start turning in your favor. Okay. And I feel here that there is a person that's put on your path that you have already been introduced to you already know this person and i feel like it's an air sign gemini libra aquarius i feel like this person is getting ready to come in and offer you stability i do feel an energy of you being fearful of that connection you being closed off to that connection but understand that that person does have good intentions here so being open is going to be important I feel here like they've been planning something, okay? So they are going to come in and express themselves how they truly feel here in this connection. They may even try to push things forward quickly. They're ready to take action. They're ready to move forward. And I feel here, Gemini, there is kind of this need. You may be wanting to wait. And I feel here there's a need to kind of push forward. It might be scary. You might be afraid. Uncertain. Okay, but just, just let things play out. Let the universe take hold here. You're going to have to be mindful, Gemini, that you are having a little bit of fear and a little bit of doubt. 
because that's going to come up and if you're not mindful of that it could cause disruptions in this connection things are going to start looking up for you in december moving into january we have the wheel here twice it's a make a wish card gemini let's pull a soul journey message to sum up your reading thank you guys again for all the love and support thank you for liking subscribing sharing the content you guys are all amazing Your soul journey message here is health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Your body is your temple and you're responsible for its care. You've chosen to incarnate in the physical dimension to learn certain lessons. And if you don't maintain the physical vehicle your soul has chosen, then you're sabotaging your own plan. Your health is a vital element for your soul's progress and you should never take it for granted. Be sensible about nourishment and exercise. You could be a sensitive being who must be conscious of your surroundings because you can easily be drained by people. Always make a ritual of protection and cleansing before working with a client or just bring your mind back to your heart throughout the day. Practice consciousness awareness. This card may also signify a desire to assist other beings through physical or emotional healing work. You may be involved professionally in the medical field, body work, or psychiatry and counseling, or maybe you are just a good listener who possesses sage advice. If you or someone you know inherited a congenital disease, past life work may be of benefit. I feel like this is calling to your health. Gemini, you're needing to pay attention to your health at this present moment. Stress, anxiety, worry does weaken the immune system, so be mindful of that. Rest, rejuvenate, feel whole, okay? Focus on your health. If this is resonating for you, there is a need to focus on your health and your vitality at this time. Let this situation fall to the wayside. This person, this situation is no longer serving you, Gemini. It's starting to drain you and causing you more harm than good. Okay? They say one thing, they do another. It's time to go. Your blessing message here is I am willing to let go. I release others to experience whatever is meaningful to them, and I am free to create that which is meaningful to me. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, Gemini, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.